I thought it'd be really cool to get a real fruit ninja to come out to talk to you. I mean, who doesn't love a ninja? Ninjas are cool. They have cool weapons like throwing stars and samurai swords. But there's a problem. Ninjas are never seen. It's a real shame because it would have been cool to have a ninja do something like cut up this apple. They only come out at night. Ninjas are good at hiding and they're very quiet. <laughs> oh, they're really good at hiding. Uh, back up a back up page, Mary. Ninjas are really good at hiding. And they are very quiet. <laughs> Not this ninja, but both ninjas are really quiet. I'm a substitute. <laughs> the apple could have represented one of the fruits of the spirit like love. And then maybe the ninja would add some other fruit like this orange. Then maybe the ninja would add maybe the ninja would add in some other fruit. You could chop some strawberries for peas. A pair could be patience. Then you could chop some grapes to be kindness. Nah. Small enough. Mary, you're going too fast. Back up. And no, no. And grapes small enough going by themselves. And on and on. One fruit for goodness, one for faithfulness, one for gentleness, one for self-control. I saw ninjas have a lot of self-control. It's part of their discipline, you know. Staying quiet, hiding in the shadows, not being seen. Once you had all of them chopped up, you can combine them into a big fruit salad bowl and enough to share. Because that's what uh, today is all about. It's not just about knowing the fruit of the spirit, but sharing them. Because only by sharing the fruit of the spirit, can we uh, make them multiply and grow? <laughs> and give alternative. And to give an alternative, would, would the world be a better place with a big fruit salad filled with, hey, where did this thing come from? Did you guys see?